just a few generations removed. Well, then why don't you save your breath for them young uh, scallywags out there on the campus? Have you seen what's been milling around out there? Oh, we've seen them. That's why we need Johnny's help, and people like him. Hmm. Well, why don't you say so? Now, where are we at? Well, we were talking about America's contributions to the world in uh, materialistic ways. Just a few highlights. Talking about invention and transportation, and that's when you chimed in with your friend Henry and the Model T. Well, uh, we never called him Henry. Yes, I work for Mr. Ford. Close as anyone for a spell, I guess. He's a fine man. I always thought Henry Ford was about as American as you could get. He was raised on a farm. He knew what it was like to work for a living. He grew up in a home with religious principles. Yes, and when he married Clara, they, uh, they raised their children the same way. And so do their children. True. And while Mr. Ford didn't make the first automobile, he probably did most to start the automobile industry. <laughs> he did in my book. Old Model T was the first what you'd call a practical automobile. One the general public could afford. He also developed the moving assembly line, another American invention. One that other countries are now using. Assembly lines not only made the work easier, the increased efficiency raised wages. But <laughs> Mr. Ford didn't have it all his own way very long. The competition found ways to make better cars. How did Mr. Ford react to that? Well, he, he just put his mind to it and built a still better one. And that's the way it's gone on, back and forth, ever since. That's the way American free enterprise works, isn't it? Exactly. It's the greatest economic system known to man. It allows you to take the greatest good and bring it to the greatest number. Our enemies say that we're materialistic. We are. We provide material benefits that make life better and longer. And not just for America, but all over the world. I wish I could say we were completely unselfish. But I can say this, we are the least selfish nation on earth. Now, is that wrong? Our enemies say that we're capitalistic. We are. But you need capital to build schools and hospital and industrial plants, to lighten labor. The last time I was in Detroit, I was in the Ford plant. It could have been General Motors or Chrysler, but it was Ford. I saw a huge press stamping out fenders, and I asked the foreman, how's it operated? He told me, the man pushes the button, and the conveyor carries them away. Well, how much does a machine like that cost? Half a million dollars. Just one machine? Just one. Of course, not many machines cost that much money apiece. But in all American industries, nationwide, the average cost of power tools and equipment and inventories was more than $35,000 per worker. Now, American industry has put up that capital so that they can produce more and better goods, less laboriously, and in a competitive market, so that more people can enjoy more and better products. Now, that is the American capitalistic system. Is that wrong? No. Then what is wrong? That's wrong. We gotta go out there and put a stop to that foolishness. You think we can do it alone? Well, we'll never know till we try. You're not alone. I've thought for this country once, I can do it again. <laughs> I may be a spirit, but this old musket's solid enough. Those are cups and spotter picora. Oh, sorry. It's the best I could find. A little crooked, but I'll straighten it out. On somebody. How about that, Doctor? That's quite a family I'm from, huh? Yes, and it's quite a country they've held built for us. Yeah. Wait a minute, fellas. What's the matter, Johnny? You've given me something better than this. We've had it all along. We just haven't been using it tonight. I'm going to go out there and tell them what's right with this country. That's still our best weapon. When detractors start on what's wrong, we're going to counter with what's right with America. It may make the difference, you know, between today's tragedy and our hope for the future. Let's try it, huh?